Hello everybody, this is Tim from Yacht Shed Brokers and uh, I'm going to take you for a tour around the interior of this 2001 Bavaria 34 and you are in for a treat. She is a very lovely seeming boat. So as you can see, we're uh, standing looking aft towards the companionway in the saloon. If I just walk a little bit closer, you can see that we've got a little lip at the top, three or four steps down and you're into the saloon. And if we just uh, lift with one hand here, very nice and easy on a little hydraulic strut. You've got great access to the uh, engine from the front here. We've got the speed seal on the uh, the saltwater pump valve. We've got the the, the saltwater isolator down there. We've got an auto fire extinguisher and great access to the top and the front of the engine. And if you just look to the side here, you can see we've got good access to the port side of the engine as well. And there's a little locker on the after section there as well. So uh, really good for the engineers. They should thank you for that. And uh, really nice and easy to check whilst the boat is underway as well. Although generally I would probably do that from the side because you're going to put the uh, the companion weight out of action when you're doing that but uh, it's just a little lift here quick look and a lift back good for what it says on the tin fantastic so once you're down here and as you come down you can see we've got handles either side we've got a couple of cup holders attached there once we're down here we've got fiddles to hold on to we've got to nice thick handrails to hold on onto and we've got to handrails going or grab rails going all the way along the port and starboard side of the saloon which is great all the way to the forward bulkhead so getting down here in a blow shouldn't be too difficult we've also got handholds either side here as well but uh, once we're down we're into a lovely lobby plenty of room down here and uh, we'll turn right immediately and we'll go into this compartment which is the heads compartment now this is the only one on the boat and uh, as you can see we've got a nice white interior or cream interior good headroom probably about five foot nine we've got the head which is uh, sitting in the starboard aft corner paint uh, sort of pointing port forward if that's important to you the uh, the hand, the hydraulic sorry the mandraulic the manual head we've got uh, a sink here with storage underneath and you can see we've got a shower attachment there we've got storage in the outboard locker there and an opening opening window which would always in a compartment like this and as you can see the shower contents will disappear through the floor there never to be seen again we have got a, a hanging locker here a decent sized one as well and lurking down in the corner there is a uh, fuel isolation too so uh, really good you can get all your wet gear in there doesn't matter if it drains away in there because uh, there's no wood etc etc to my knowledge so uh, really great for not taking all your wet fowlies straight through the saloon and getting everything wet fantastic we just turn right and in we go but as we come out the door you can see we reached the navigation station so great that it's so close to the companion way here so great to talk to the people in the cockpit we have storage underneath the seat here storage underneath the table itself we've got a nice a reasonably deep table room for all your paper clips your charts uh, all those bits and pieces that you need and uh, a decent size too fiddle really well fiddled as well i have to say so uh, all your bits and pieces should stay on there if we're lurching from side to side which is great bit of our hat and glove stow is going on in the after corner there but we could be having a uh, chart publications etc in there but uh, what have we got in the uh, in the electrical area or the chart navigation area itself where we've got the the uh, heater on off thermostat etc the dsc vhf uh, recent -ish stereo uh, we've got a, um, a 240 volt socket here as well which has got this thermostatically operated plug which the owner has been using to control his anti-condensation heaters which is really good we have Nav navtex here though this is out of action so uh, most people wouldn't probably bother to uh, get that replaced but that may be up to you uh, and we've got the usual kind of electricery going on here with the electrics panel notably we've got the forward we have two fresh water tanks on this boat forward tanks indicator after tank indicator and we also have separate uh, engine and domestic uh battery voltage indication there too so really well done and we've also got some some 12 volt sockets here so we have got a smattering of 12 volt sockets and two volts uh and 240 volt sockets around this boat so that should be good for everybody including all the kids and their iphone chargers now we're looking along the starboard side of the saloon here so as you can see um if i can get this off with one hand i will try nice uh, uh, older but fully functional chart plotter there so that's really handy no need to change it if it works that's fine and uh, just looking up you can see we've got uh, uh, i won't count them all but we do have four opening windows down here so really great ventilation the headlining here this is a molding 
So this is uh, just nice and easy to clean. There won't be any saggy headlining droop, etc. Really great. Downlight is fitted in there. And we've got the hatch here. A bit of crazing going on there, but uh, you know that can be changed at some point. Might not need to be done now. And we've also got, I think for all the hatches, we've got blinds, which is uh, really great news if you'd like a bit of dark at night. This boat is fitted with many added options, including the hull port lights there as well. So we've got uh, a nice uh, view of the water and it will just give us a little bit more light and air in if we open them up. But uh, please make sure they're closed when you're at sea, obviously. They're just above a nice big fiddled uh, bookshelf there with a cupboard forward and a stereo speaker inset there as well. We've got curtains for all the windows that hook back. This boat really does seem to have a lot of everything. But let's talk, we'll go back to the uh, to the sofa here. As you can see, nice and long, reasonably wide. And we've got a, a sort of almost a fiddled uh, soft part here to keep us in. Now this does open up. If you look in the photos, these cushions will pull forward. This cushion will lift up and uh, stay out of the way. And the berth does continue underneath here all the way to the boat side. So nice and wide for one person, no problem. And if we lift the base up, we've got the, uh, the three batteries underneath there too. I think we've got uh, gel filled, but two of them are gel filled. So we uh, should be good. And uh, yeah, all looking very good uh, with nice upholstery on top. Fantastic. We've got a little bit of uh, chain plates coming through. And again, behind the sofa, we can see where they attach to the boat. So good for the surveyors to have a good check through. Also good for hanging on to in a blow and uh, attaching all bits and pieces to stop them flying around. But uh, nice to see. Just lends that little bit of, well, this is a boat kind of thingness about them, if that's the right word. Um, the obligatory uh, clock and barometer, hygrometer, etc. on the forward bulkhead there looking nice. And uh, that leads us nicely through to this door or through this door to the forward cabin. Now on this boat, we have got a really lovely forward cabin. I'll just close the door behind me so we can get a full view. So from the starboard side, as we came through the door, just looking up, we've got uh, two hatches here, both with blinds at the moment. So uh, that's uh, keeping it a bit cooler in here. But we have a nice cupboard here on the right hand side, a nice seat with a little bit of storage beneath it as well. You can see we've got a really nice flooring throughout this boat and it does look in really great nick almost just about everywhere. I've not seen any evidence of wear and tear at all to be fair. Just looking up around the cabin you can see we've got a lovely long very lovely wide bed now this is designed to stay here there's there's no infill here etc because we don't need one because we've got such a large lobby here so we've got a nice shelf running along starboard the same along the port side as well nice uh, headlining we've got the hatch there with a blind on to let uh, light and air in etc but we can black out if you want and we've got i think a, a mirror image of the cupboard over on the starboard side on the port side here with another seat and bit of storage beneath. Underneath this bed, we've got the forward one, or the, or the forward freshwater tank. We've got the uh, speed sender or the log, etc. underneath there, and an exceptionally clean and dry build on this boat, I have to say. Congratulations to the owner. Being uh, from uh, of Royal Naval descent, uh, you always used to be able to eat your uh, dinners out of my build, so that's what I like to see. So back into the saloon, we're looking aft onto the port side now. You can see we've got a lovely table here. If I just lift the uh, catch up, you can see we've got one leaf here that uh, enables more people to sit and eat here. We have another leaf on this side as well, which will open up nicely. So that gives us the flexibility to get lots of people to sit around. You can see just nestling under here, we've got a heater outlet. I'm told there is a heater outlet in every single uh, part, every single compartment on this boat. So uh, uh, that has been upgraded. And uh, if we just look here, we can see the sofa here, which I think is a mirror image of the starboard side. The reverse seat just lifts up. We've got a nice berth that goes all the way to the ship side underneath there with stone storage underneath there as well and of course the same storage above the same port light the same small cupboard here with a stereo etc etc and there's here's the uh, the grabberella i was talking about runs all the way forward and aft in this cab in this compartment along with the two opening uh, portholes and curtains so if we're moving aft if we move aft that's brought us conveniently towards the the uh, galley, which is uh, straight down and turning left as you're coming down the companionway. So cups of tea up, empty cups down, cup of soups, uh, all that kind of stuff. Very, very nice and easy. Straight down, dirties into the sink, no spillages, which I really, really like. And if you do spill anything, of course, we've got this really nice floor that will just wipe clean. No problem at all. We have a, a, a bin 
locker here. We've got a single sink here with a mixer tap. We've got a proper running, uh, really, really nice and deep fridge there. Bit of work surface when it's down. We have cupboards and a fiddle shelf behind. Uh, twin burner cooker or stove here, gimbaled as well. So that's great for uh, when you're at sea, rocking and a rolling, really nice. And it all looks and feels really nice and clean, which is lovely. Now, the final compartment in this boat, if we just open the door here. So of course, bit of a compromise if you're going in and out of this cabin then you're going to be disturbing whoever's cooking etc etc but uh, there are always compromises on boats and i'm sure that's not too much of an issue and here we are in the uh, after cabin or about to go into the after cabin we have the companion waste storage just out of the way there nice big plexiglass unit really easy to put away there keeps it out of the way we've got the engine access uh, port here which is lovely and um, we've got a nice decent sized lobby here and if we just look up we can see we've got good site good headroom down here we have got the uh, the the moulding of the cockpit encroaching here, but that's what always happens on this boat. But uh, where we want to be sitting up, getting changed, etc., in this area, not really compromised at all, which is really, really nice. And uh, right above the lobby here, we've got full standing head height, which is great. On the outboard side, we have a locker here for your bits and pieces, a fiddle shelf, and an opening window here, and on the inboard side here to the cockpit, which is lovely. And if you just look down, you can see we've got a really lovely long bed nice and wide now uh, this area here the head height is uh, obviously restricted so if you're on your own in here plenty of room if there's two of you in here you might find us both here i'm not sure but uh, certainly somebody here has got to be okay with a slightly lowered headroom there on the outboard side we've got a nice long fiddled shelf you can get all your bits and pieces in here underneath here we've got the shaft line we've got the calorify etc etc and i think more storage under this section here all in all a very nice cabin and looks very nice and clean too. So that completes our tour of the interior of this very nice looking Bavaria 34 from night 2001. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the boat as much as I have, can you tell? But uh, above all, thanks for watching. Go to BoatShipBrighton.com for many more pictures, videos and a virtual reality tour. Take care. Thank you and have a great day.